Okay, so we're back, and I've got some of my stuff out that we can finish this up. Uh, I've decided that my light was going to be coming from this side, so I went ahead and I made sure I shadowed this side, and then of course we need to define which heart is in the front. So we are able to do that by shading behind here. This one makes this will make this pop out, especially when we highlight here, and I add a little bit more charcoal because I do like to do. Um, charcoal around. Uh, it's just a grungy kind of feel for me that I really do like. And you can see the, the layers that we're starting to create. Um, you know, we started out with our dilutions, then we added the um, white, we stamped, we've got the napkin. Now we've layered over the top of that with these. So we are starting to get some um, some texture on here so when we brayer I think we're going to be able to pop up a little bit more depth because the white will go on the top the rest will sink to the back I didn't do much over here but one thing I did find that I think I will be using is um it's sparkle Mod Podge so I must have had this with my kids I did Girl Scouts for about 15 years and so I'm sure that was a leftover from that but I thought I will throw that onto the wings I think that will look kind of pretty um, so right now I think I'll just go ahead and leave the camera on and we will just do a little bit of brayering. I've just put some white paint on a plate. It's on here. Normally I apply it straight. Okay, so we're back. And what I'm going to be doing now is um, going ahead and adding some of the white highlights. And I'll probably be doing most of that with my finger. I'll just add a little bit onto um, the hearts here. We just want to give it um, a little bit much. Soften that out a little bit. Um, a little bit more in here. And if we don't like what we're doing, we can always go back over it with um, a little bit more of that um, purple color. So I'll probably put a little bit of a return shadow on our pilot on this side to touch same thing on this we'll just do a little bit kind of like what we've got going there okay oh, I think that looks pretty good maybe we'll just put a little bit on the dress here not much but just a little to a little bit of definition there okay um, We'll probably want to put some more white around. Maybe we'll use a credit card. Oh, you know what? I don't know where mine is, so we're just going to use my finger. We're just going to put some more color, a little bit more highlights in here. Just kind of mess it up a little bit. A little bit more up here. And now we're also going to bring some of that other colors in, like I said earlier, we would probably end up doing. So let's grab, and you know what I'm thinking? We may actually add a few drips, too. I like doing ink drips. I don't know why, but I really do like that. So we're just going to be putting some of this color around. I think you'll see where it starts to draw your eye around the page. Instead of just having the colors sporadic, or not sporadic, but um, stationary in one or two areas. I think when you start to move them around the page a bit, it does move your eye around the page. I kind of like what's going on here. Um, I never know when I'm starting out what we're going to end up with, which I think is... So much fun. Okay, so we've got some of that purple. Let's do a little bit of that lighter lavender. Not much, because it now the li lighter color is pretty well hidden over in here, but it doesn't hurt to put a little bit of that in. Again, just using my finger. Maybe throw a little bit of white in it. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's pretty. Same thing with some of this up in here. If it got a little bit... Right. And we're going to put a little bit of white back over the top of that. 
and we don't want to blend it all. We want to leave some of it kind of bright. Okay, last color was that green that I had used earlier. Actually, I think I've got some on the plate here. Um, so we're just going to throw some in. Sorry, I had the plate to the middle of <laughs> I get a little carried away here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in the middle of the page. And again, we can go back over that if we need to with a little bit of the white. If we want to tone it down at all. But I don't mind that. Okay. So we've got that. Let me go ahead and get my charcoals out. And I will be, well, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of the drips. I think we'll just add a few. Not too many. We'll do a little bit of the purple and just a touch of the green. And you know what? We might do reverse pages. I'm not sure. Because we've got more of the green on the one side. Let's just go and throw a little bit of green on this one. And I'm sure you can't see this right now. Here we go. It's a little bit better. And we'll just put a little bit of water on that and get that moving down the page. Oh, I kind of like that one. And let's go ahead. Sometimes I'll water it ahead of time too. And then add the, the ink. Yeah, I like that. I'm not so sure about right through the middle, so there, maybe that. Okay, so we got a little bit of the green coming down this side, and we may go back over that and clean that up if we need to. And then let's put a little purple down the other side. So I kind of like that idea. And we won't do much, just a little bit, moving some of that color around again. Ooh, that's pretty. I like I don't know if you can really see that, but I do think that's pretty. It is just starting to come down the page just a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry this, and I shall be right back again. Okay, so it's dry. I really like how the drips came out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start to do some of the charcoal around and then I will again stop the video and come back. So I use a um, soft charcoal, now oh, you can't really see it with the light, but it's just a soft charcoal um, pencil. It's called a peel -a sketch charcoal. And then I just run this around anything that I really want to you know, have a little shade behind so it kind of pops it off the page. And then I just run um, a, I, a stump around it. I, you can use your finger and sometimes I do. And just to bring some of that shading behind it. And it does help it pop it off the page a bit. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I can. If you look at the one, you can kind of see, especially right in here. You can start to see where the one is shading. So the front heart has a little bit more dimension and you can definitely see it's in front of the heart behind because of the shading that we're getting in. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade around the, both of the hearts and then I will also shade around our angel. And I did, I can't remember if um, I had showed you or not, but I did put the glitter. She's really pretty, you can hardly see it though. But if in real life, it looks really glittery. And so I, because I had glitter on this side, I did bring some across to this side of the page as well. Um, hard to see, but it is on there. I'm also, once I do the shading, then I will also put my um, quilt on there. And the one I decided to use is Life Shrinks or Expands in Proportion to One's Courage. This is my first video I have ever done, so I felt that I was being a little courageous. I know it's not 
that courageous, but for me, I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone, and I just thought, well, this would be a perfect one um, for the start of my um, time here in the doing videos. So I will put that on, and then I will probably write something here, you know, date, time, and really a little bit about my experience doing this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stop the video, and then I will be back when I get that done. Okay, so at this point, we are done. Um, I went back in. I've taken the camera off the tripod, so if it's wiggly, I'm sorry. But I did go back in, and I've also got a shadow here. Um, I'm trying to get you a close-up here. On the angel, I did go around, like I told you, I was going around with the charcoal, but then also take like a pit pen, or I think I used a micron, and then I just went around, I, I like a real messy outline around there, so I did a real messy outline around her face and her wings. I did the same on the um, hearts, um, did a real messy outline around there. Uh, this, I love this area right in here. I just think that turned out really nice. The colors um, and the depth. I went ahead and, you know, like I said, I was going to glue these down. And then I went ahead and just went around them with a messy micron, just real messy lines around there. Um, added a little bit more white around the edges. I scraped it in with a um, credit card. Isn't that really pretty, too? I really like that. Um, so, like I said before, I will have uh, a supply list with this video, and hopefully you check it out, and I hope that you liked it. It was really fun doing it, um, and hope to see you next time. Thank you.